Welcome to Decil Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today, we will discuss how to create stratified random points. In this video, we will talk about why we need stratified random points and how to create them in ArcGIS Pro. Random sampling is good as it has less bias compared to systematic sampling. However, sometimes there is a chance that it might miss some important feature and collect more points from an area where we have nothing. Therefore, we try stratified sampling where we want to vary the sampling frequency based on the importance of the features across a map. In this exercise, we are using the DEM from a mountainous region of northern part of West Virginia. We want to focus more on the steeper part, so we want to collect more data points from these hills. For the stratified sampling process, we will start with a reclassified slope layer with three classes, gentle, medium and steep, one, two, three respectively. Next, we need to convert it to polygons using the raster to polygon tool. Now you can see we have multiple polygons here. When we are creating stratified random points, we want to give weightage to the most important areas for our analysis, as well as to different sizes of polygons. Let's assume that for this area, we will create about 5000 points and we want to give 10 times weightage to the steeper areas compared to the gentler places and four times more weightage to the intermediate places. So this will be the distribution of our sample points. First, we want to determine the total area in square kilometer. If you open the attribute table, you will see that for each polygon, shape area is given here. However, it is in square meter unit. We can add a field here Let's name it poly area. Using calculate field option, we convert the area from square meter to square kilometer. Next, we are going to right click here and click summarize. Here, our input field is strata and let's select poly area as field and statistics type as sum and the case field should be the grid code. In this method, what we want to do, we want to calculate the total area for each grid code. Let's hit run. Now we have this table here. Let's open it. And we have the total area for each grid code. In our next step, we want to calculate the number of points per polygon because if the polygon is bigger, we want to put more points in there. Add a new field here. Now by using the select by attributes tool, we want to select one grid code area at a time. Let's start with grid code one, then use the field calculator for each grid code with the following formula. For example, for grid code 1, which is now selected here, we are going to use the poly area divided by the total area, which in this case is 87.66, multiplied by the number of points we want to put in grid code 1, which is 333 in this case. Hit run and you can see that the sample field has been populated with number of points for grid code 1 for each polygon. Now do this for the other two grid codes and don't forget at the end to clear out all the selections. Let's go to analysis and search for create random points tool. Here our constraining feature class will be strata. Change number of points from long to field and select 
the sample as the field and run this tool and this is our final result. You can see that we have a lot of points near these steep hilly areas whereas in this valley where the slope is gentler we have less points. To recap in this video we have learned how to create stratified random points. We also discussed why we need the stratified random points. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.